All right, YouTube, I need your help here. I don't know when I did it, but I've damaged the threads on this crankshaft. And maybe I did it when I originally pulled the flywheel off and maybe it dropped down on the threads, I don't know. Maybe I did it when I uh, put the flywheel, putting it back on to bolt it on, I don't know. But either way, the nuts will not feed onto the crankshaft here because the threads are damaged. So, I am putting this out here to somebody, hopefully somebody can see this, and uh, before I do what I'm about to do, I'm going to wait um, until after I post this video. So what I have purchased and ordered is a, um, a hex die to see if I can fix this, but I've never done it, and uh, so I'm going to at least see if there's any other recommendations. Now here's what I have done. I threw this engine in the truck, took it up to a local automotive place. I called them ahead of time. They said they'd be glad to look at it. They do have um, tap and die sets. The problem is they only had they only had 14 mil was the biggest. Anyway, a total of four places I've been to. I got recommended and went to a tire shop that did trucks thinking, um, you know, with uh, hubs, some studs on the hubs, bigger bolts, maybe they've damaged and they would have the die set to fix this thing and they didn't. So, like I said, I've struck out four times. So, I've ordered this part, it's come in, but my fear is I'll damage this even worse and can't fix it. And, some may recommend a machine shop. I don't know of a place around here. I guess I could start asking around to see if there's a machine shop someplace. But frustrating because um, got the parts in, pretty much rebuilt this whole engine is ready to get it back in the ski, except put, putting back on the flywheel. And now I'm stuck. And I've been stuck here for at least a week uh, like I said, I ordered this hex die, it's come in, but I'm afraid to go ahead and use it for fear I'll really damage the threads even worse. So that is where I'm at. So let me show you real quick. I'll take off the stand. Let's see if we can get a close up, show you the, what I've done to these threads, and show you the, the hex die on this thing that, uh, that's come in. So hopefully somebody out there They've had this issue, this problem before, and can tell me the best thing to do. Alright, so let's look at this thing. Alright, so let me try to get a close-up and show you what I've done to the threads on the outside. And holding this phone camera here, I don't know if you're picking it up well, if it's focusing. I don't know I can't tell but um, anyway if you can see what I've done to the threads here um, kind of mushroomed them and part of the problem there what I did let me get the camera on it better is uh, so I damaged them and I know that part of the damage is then when I was trying to put this on and you know not realizing that the threads were already damaged and you know, I was trying to th just thinking I was just you know cross-threading it, thinking I couldn't get it. I just didn't didn't have it uh, centered right, and so part of it. So then I, I'm sure I damaged it more. But um, so I'm hoping that this is picking up because I can't tell again. But the nut itself is not th uh, damaged. That was checked at the. Um, the auto shop and I'll show you what they gave me. We checked it to confirm the, um, the size and the thread and that's so that's when I ordered the hex bolt. So let me um, show you what I've got and what I'm going to do unless somebody has a better idea um, for me to try. Alright so here's what the 
Auto Shop gave me just to um, check to make sure this was not damaged and it spins, goes on easily. And this is an 18 mil with a, I, get, I think a 1.5 pitch threads on it. So that is what I needed. And that is what they did not have. And as I said, other places did not have this size as well. So what I have ordered here just came in today. This is 18, if you could pick this up here, 18, 1.5 pitch threads in here. So the problem is I've been reading up with real quick. This is a hex and not a round. Um, you just have to make sure you've got it on there straight before you start cranking on it. And that's the the issue here of, I don't know if the GoPro is picking this up, but getting it centered properly and, and keeping it straight and not getting it offline and really damaging the threads, that's my fear. So I guess maybe it's more than just one question, any suggestions outside of this, how to, to fix this. Uh, and if this is the solution, how to make sure that I keep it straight and that I don't damage the other threads trying to repair the threads. Anyway, that is where I'm at. And uh, like I said, I'm going to post this video before I actually do this just to see if there's different scenarios for me outside of this so that I don't end up damaging this thing even worse. So, all right guys, that is it. Please comment if you have a solution, been through this, and um, let me know before I move forward on this engine. So, all right, I appreciate you uh, joining me here and look forward to some uh, solution. All right, thanks.